So my name is Tim Warden. Uh, my role at DataCore Software is uh, Senior Director of Engineering Product Management. Uh, today, what I'd like to do is actually provide a demo of the Max Parallel for SQL Server uh, software. Uh, you just heard the overview that Augie gave of what these new technologies are about. I'm going to give you the demo, and then following will be my colleague, Robert Bassett, who's actually going to answer some of the questions that, that I know you're all asking yourself. How does this stuff work? What does it actually do? Uh, in the demo, you'll actually be able to see what it looks like, which will give you kind of a feel uh, and prep you for, uh, for Robert's presentation. Uh, so this, uh, this demo is basically uh, a virtual machine that I built in uh, Microsoft's Azure Cloud. I went to the marketplace. I selected a, uh, a VM image that was uh, SQL Server 2012, uh, built on Windows Server uh, 2012 R2. Uh, for the virtual hardware, I chose a DS4 um, V2, which is a modest VM with, uh, with eight virtual CPUs, 28 gigs of RAM. And uh, to that, I added two data disks that I would use for uh, SQL tables and logs. Somewhat arbitrary sizing, but it was just to, you know, to actually provide disk space for the, for the tables and logs. Um, once I deployed the virtual machine, uh, a clean virtual machine from you know, Microsoft published, I then installed the Max Parallel software on that machine. Now, as you know, a database isn't worth much without data, without an application or users to drive it. So to that end, I went with a well-known uh, open source package that I'm sure you probably have heard of called HammerDB, uh, and uh, installed HammerDB on this. Uh, what is it? It's a, um, it's a database load generator and benchmarking tool and rather generic. It implements uh, a test that is based upon a well-known TPCC benchmark. And that is an OLTP simulation uh, of a retail environment with mm, warehouses, inventories, users placing orders uh, against that. So I guess the two key uh, values, results that you get out of HammerDB would be transactions per minute and new orders per minute. They're usually abbreviated TPMs, NOPMs. Okay? So what we're going to do in this demo is we're going to do a baseline run of HammerDB against SQL Server without Max Parallel turned on, so that we get those, those baseline numbers. Then we'll enable Max Parallel and we'll redo the exact same uh, exact same test afterwards so you can compare the results. Now before I start the demo, I would like to point out that I, I actually made this VM uh, as a part of the Azure test drive that my colleague Augie was mentioning just a little bit ago. So um, that test drive is in support of our Max Parallel for SQL Server VMs that we offer uh, on the Azure Marketplace. So you could go out to Azure Marketplace, and you can search for Max Parallel, find, you know, for instance, the 2012 uh, SQL Server 2012 uh, VM that we have out there, and launch this and have a one hour, uh, a chance to play around with it for yourself for one hour, uh, and, and redo the test using the same image that I'm going to be showing you now. And uh, I would just like to add that if you're so inclined, uh, I would encourage you to, uh, to get NFR licenses from us. We're happy to give you NFR licenses. You can try this out in your own lab. I say that because I don't know about you guys, but uh, personally, I prefer kicking the tires myself rather than having some presenter kick them for me. <laughs> so, okay. And I'll start this. You can see already that uh, this demo was put together from the, uh, from the test drive I was mentioning. The test drive logs, you, uh, you get credentials to log into an RDP session. And uh, we're going to bring up the task manager. We'll also bring up resource monitor so that you can uh, actually take a look at how the CPU and disk I.O. is, is, is going to happen here. 
And uh, you soon you'll see, we'll open up Max Parallel. Uh, you access the GUI from uh, the tray on the desktop. There it is. You'll see it's saying enabled. We currently have it disabled because we want our baseline test to be without Max Parallel, right? Now here we're starting up HammerDB. I have already pre-populated the database. I've already built the schema, which is the first step of running a, of running a benchmark. We're going to do a timed test, two minute ramp, five minute run. We're going to use 30 virtual users in this particular test. And then we create the users and we start running the benchmark. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through watching paint dry for seven minutes. We'll, the video will cut forward to the end. But I do want to point out CPU utilization here. You see, it's negligible. And if we look down here at disk I.O., it's currently set to a scale of 0 to 10 megabits, uh, megabytes a second. We're not really driving this VM on this test. This machine is not really doing that much work right now. Okay? And uh, when it completes, We'll see in a couple of minutes. Should jump to the end here in a second. You will see that uh, the number of transactions per minute and new orders per minute that I was uh, mentioning. There we go. The, the test will complete here. The numbers, as you can see, our baseline, we get 34,917 TPMs. 7,592 new orders per minute. There you can see it printed out here. I know it's kind of small, it's an eye chart, but you can see how that works. Okay, so we quit out of, of Max Parallel, excuse me, out of uh, HammerDB. At this point, we're going to turn on Max Parallel and rerun the test. Now what we're gonna do before we enable Max Parallel is we're gonna stop the SQL server so we can ask the environment. And, uh, and that's what we're doing here. There are a number of ways that you can start and stop the, uh, the SQL Server service. And in, for whatever reason, uh, we chose to go into uh, the SQL Management Studio and do it there. There's, there's different ways you can do it. Anyway, once it's stopped, it will then enable Max Parallel. And at this point, it'll go out and it will discover that I have a couple of volumes that it can manage. So you can see it picking up disk uh, number see the number there, but here you can see that it's picked up two volumes, my logs and my, and my database tables. So now that it's managing those volumes, we're going to go back in here and start up SQL again. Then we'll relaunch HammerDB, and we'll go through the same process. We're using the exact same schema, the same database. We haven't changed anything. All we've done is turned on Max Parallel. We're going to do the same two-minute ramp five minute test run. And again, we'll do this with, with 30 <coughs> users. I might add, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, King in thinking time, we've set it to false. That's why 30 users is a perfectly acceptable number because there's no King in thinking time. It's being hit like it was being hit by 30 computers. And now we start the test up. And again, we won't sit around for seven minutes watching this. We'll cut to the, uh, to the chase, go to the, uh, go to the actual resulting numbers. But as it starts to run, I want you to take a look, observe the CPU utilization across the eight cores compared to the screenshot that was taken on the first run. We're really driving the CPU utilization at this point, much higher. And if you look at the disk I.O., you can see the scale is now running zero to 100 megabytes a second. So the machine is clearly being driven a lot harder now. And in a, another minute or so, you will see the results show up up here. But uh, we achieved 220,661 compared to 34,900. Uh, and for the new orders per minute, 47,965 compared to 7,500. It's roughly a 5x improvement in performance. Now. We all know that every environment's different, right? Different core counts, different amounts of RAM, different drives, are they hard disk, are they SSDs? Uh, what's the RAID configuration behind them, if there is one? 
all kinds of these, all these factors really go into, not, not to mention the data profile and the I.O. profile on that data. All of that will contribute to the performance. So as they say, your mileage may vary, right? You're not going to see 5x across the board on everything. But this should give you an idea of what, these, what this technology is capable of doing. And, uh, and to that end, my colleague Robert Bassett is going to be answering the questions that I know you're all <laughs> Uh, waiting to ask uh, about how this technology works. <laughs>